Hello and welcome to today's really special cryptocurrency technical analysis where I'm going to be covering not only Bitcoin but two altcoins which I hold very close to my heart. One of these projects especially I think is going to have a very, very, very nice future. I'm really, really, really excited for this video. I think you're going to honestly absolutely love it. You're going to absolutely love it. Mark my words. As we are going to start off here with Bitcoin, fairly swiftly going through Bitcoin, because I want to focus on these two altcoins. They bring a big smile to my face. What could I say? We're going to be going through the technical analysis side of it. And oh, you're going to you're going to love it. Let's just go straight into this, the technical analysis, starting with Bitcoin. OK, so Bitcoin, fairly simple, actually, what happened yesterday. Obviously, I made a video while we were trading actually around the current point of control. And really simply, I was I was basically looking for another push to the upside because we were looking around that CC around the highs. I was personally, this is inside of the Champions Group on Discord, looking for 63,800 basically to take those highs. OK, and as we can actually see, if we zoom out a little bit here, I will just temporarily hide the analysis that we have. I was looking for this move up to <laughs> $63,800. Why? Because of the highs that we had there. And you can see here how we literally tap above the last high up above that last high and then obviously we got this swing failure pattern so this is a really this is a really simple trade yeah swing failure pattern type trade very 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 simple you just have to have made the plan knew where you're looking for once it's hit have your alert go off see a swing failure pattern obviously you can take a trade off of this when we add our analysis back on and we'll zoom in a little bit now you can see there's the swing failure pattern of around 63800 we come back down and we obviously come that down towards the old consolidation lows, put in a next high again off of a mini swing failure pattern. We have this lovely pitchfork. If I come down to the five minute chart and just, yeah, 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 this is a nice one. Yeah, we obviously had our low high and then we come down absolutely perfectly to the dollar off of the low of the pitchfork, dollar off the low of the pitchfork. And then we rise and guess where we rose to? Right to the high of that pitchfork. So, I mean, you can just copy that. Just copy my analysis right now and add on this pitchfork because it's just... You know, you have the pitchfork after three touches, the high, the low, and then the next high. And then the way that it was respected also perfectly to the dollar of the downside and then to the <laughs> to the dollar of the upside. You know, it's just one of these magical pitchforks that uh, sometimes they come along and they treat you very nicely. So add on this pitchfork, you won't you won't regret it. Really nice pitchfork already offered. Well, for me, only one trade because I was actually not I was asleep basically of this one. But I managed to get in a trade off the top. Obviously, we've just taken it down to the point of control. And yeah, from here, we're obviously overall, we're just range bound on Bitcoin currently. Yeah, so it's it's really, 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 really simple. You had, you know, I, in my opinion, you had two trades yesterday. Obviously, the best one being that swing failure pattern. And then now you're just trading within this pitchfork. Uh, should we move further to the downside? Of course, we have the weekly below us of really big support. And above us, we still have that $64,000 of resistance. If we break above that, we know our next level to the downside. If we break below this weekly, of course, we know our next level is to the downside. But currently, really neutral on Bitcoin. Really, honestly, really neutral on it. There's no need to be really bullish. There's no need to be really bearish. Just literally trade the levels. They are being totally respected. Add on the analysis that you see on the screen right now because it's just it's just working very well what can i say so that is the really quick analysis that i wanted to give you here on bitcoin i'll do another bitcoin video dedicated to bitcoin in a few days time i want to now focus on some altcoins because let's be honest the altcoins right now they're kind of a bit of a gold mine so <laughs> alt season i suppose as many people refer to it as um you're seeing gains across the board obviously you see bitcoin down today 0.6 percent you see some of my favorite alt you can see one of my favorite altcoins up today five percent um and obviously what i love about the altcoins is that they are all now added to bybit i know like 99 percent of my viewers all trade on bybit obviously because i absolutely love the exchange i think it's amazing and you know it's just a brilliant exchange to trade on what is Added bonus is that they are now adding hundreds of altcoins. So we can finally trade some of our best projects. Yesterday, they added 10 new altcoins. I was actually, actually started trading this round of one, Alice. As well as they now have, obviously, Atom, Algo. They added yesterday, GRT, the graph. That's one that I've wanted for a while. So yeah, just sort of heads up. Hundreds of altcoins being added to Bybit right now. All available to trade. So yeah. That's obviously really, really good news for what we're about to cover. And that is Sheeb. Sheeb is also trading on Bybit right now. And I want to cover this one. Uh, this is a project to me, um, you know, I'm going to cover two altcoins for you today. This one is like a bit a bit funny. And the next altcoin is one that I really, really, really honestly love. This one I love, but it, it's a bit of a meme for me. 
And um, you might, you know, I've got a bit of a backstory. This video might go on a little while. It might be a long video, but you're going to enjoy it nevertheless. And so there's a bit of a backstory to sheep, uh, a, a good backstory, I will add. And that is, you might think, well, Daniel, how, how do you find out about sheep? What made you love this coin? Why have you been trading this coin? And the answer is really, 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 really simply because I have a sheep in you. So because I had a sheep in you, I just saw sheep listed and I was like, hey, why not buy this coin? Because it's just absolutely, this is the coin. This is my coin. I love this. Obviously, we had, oh, I've had this Shiba Inu before it was a meme, before Doge even existed. Nobody knew about this. Uh, well, obviously, people knew about this breed of dog, but it was no way near as popular as it is now. So this was before the Doge meme, having this back in 2000, actually back in 2012, 13. So that is the start of the backstory behind Shiba and, and my love for the Shiba Inu. I mean, how can you not love this? This, this is a, like, such a cute dog. Oh my God. Just makes my heart melt right now. But on top of that, obviously, this is the ultra cool story about Sheep that you may or may not know, depending if you're in the Champions group. But I actually found this one back in January. Back in January at the start of this year. Okay. And this is when Shiba Inu was literally one sat. So from the time of finding this coin, where not only myself, but a few other of the champions put in, a, put in some money into this coin, uh, as you can see, Imi, it's worth, it's one sat, literally, it couldn't, <laughs> it, it's a pretty low risk buy, one sat, and myself and a few others, you can see this guy bought actually 20 billion sheep, and that's, that was literally like a hundred dollars, yeah, a hundred dollars, you can buy 20 billion sheep, I think I have like over a trillion <laughs> sheep, which is just like, it is absolutely mental. Uh, this guy from his $100, I think he actually sold his for like $250,000. So like $100 to $250,000 just because I found this sheep. It was like, hey, let me join the pump as well. So it was just like really, really, really kind of hilarious how well this coin has performed um, since I found it at literally one sat. It was the absolute, absolute, absolute low. And I just was like, hey, this is this is Shiba Inu coin. I love Shiba Inu coin. It's worth one sat. Um, yeah, <laughs> let's just buy some. I remember I actually gave some money to my friend to buy it for me because it was on Uniswap. And I remember he bought it for me. And instantly, I kid you not, instantly it pumped 300% because there was just like zero liquidity in it back here. And it was just like, I don't know. It was just really, really kind of funny. I mean, it literally was just bought as a, as a uh, pretty honestly, it was just kind of bought as a joke. Did I ever expect it to go up like it did? Not really, but it doesn't surprise me because I knew that these, like, these meme coins, because Doge was obviously pumping pretty hard, it's just like, yeah, Shiba Inu coin, let, let's go. Uh, st stick some money in it, why not? You know, you can buy trillions of the coin. And uh, yeah, obviously since then, by the way, I will tell you, this coin has gone up 41 million percent. Yes, that is 41 million percent gains. So this is just obviously, obviously crazy dirty money. I mean, it's, it's insane. But that's what happens <laughs> when you got your eye in the game. One sack, couldn't go any lower. Let's go. And obviously, since then, it's become it's become much more stable. There's a lot more liquidity. Not buying it is not going to move it 300 percent in a second, thankfully. So we have more liquidity in it right now, but that's the bit of the backstory behind Shiba Inu coin and why I absolutely love this coin and it's made me dirty amounts of money. But anyway, we move on. So the technicals behind this coin, you might be wondering, okay, where's the technicals? Where's the next opportunity? I personally am still holding holding my Shiba. I actually haven't sold it. <laughs> so by the way, uh, I'm obviously looking for higher, but I mean, really simply, we can see it originally got a list. I actually forgot about it. I'm not going to lie. I totally forgot I even had it. But uh, <laughs> we obviously see a bit of move to the upside. We see, you know, a bit of a drawn out accumulation pattern. And now we're seeing our new impulses to the upside. I mean, this this is, you. I think you can treat this most, most honestly, just absolutely so simply. Yeah, you can view this so, oh, so simply. So if you start to look at things like your extensions, I'm going to take this from the low of the last impulse to the high of the impulse to the last low. OK, and you can start to look at things like one to one extensions. Of course, we're not going to say this is picture, picture, picture perfect. But, you know, you can start to add on things like your triangles and you could say that this is wave one. OK, because I like to use, use things like Elliott waves for this. If this is wave one. That's your wave two. You're looking for the wave three, at least to the one to one extension. 
Okay, and then obviously within this, you had your A, B, C, D, E triangle with a little bit of an A, B, C, D, E, and then obviously impulse to the upside. So this wave two, you can obviously have an, an A, and an, an, I'm going a bit high level maybe for people, but you can go wave two at the end of the C or at the end of the E. I'm just going to keep it at the end of the C because I like to be conservative. Obviously, you can move this up to the end of the E wave gives you a bit of a higher target, but I, I, I'm pretty conservative like this. <clears throat> so obviously that means for me anyway, I am expecting higher prices on Sheeb. Do I think that this is, uh, this is just a totally technically driven coin, yeah? This, this Actually, the technical analysis is really, really well respected, even though it's like a meme coin and people like joke about it. You you can trade this really seriously well, yeah? It's so like uh, some of the best coin, traded coins right now are obviously uh, Solana is extremely technical. Obviously, I mean, for me, te 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 Tezos, Dot, Shiba, uh, Bit, which I'm going to cover. I mean, just like the alts are really actually very, really well respected on the technical. So, <clears throat> I mean, triangle breakout, looking for the one to one extension, really. And then obviously the secondary target is going to be the um, 1618 extension. This is the thing. I would be quite cautious uh, trying to short any of these levels blindly because the thing is the, the coin is extremely, extremely, extremely volatile. So just trying to trade this blindly is not going to work well. Yeah, you have to be really cautious and give really big zones uh, onto your support resistances. But I mean, I'll give you another example of the support. This was obviously when Elon Musk tweeted that he had no sheep and it got a bit of a pullback. But guess where it bounced? Surprise, surprise. Bring your fib from the low of the last impulse to the high. And you will see what we call perfection straight into the CC. Have a guess who loads up when everybody's scared and fearful because who cares about Elon Musk? Like, honestly, it's just it's so irrelevant that he holds no sheep. Uh, but nevertheless, it dumped down <laughs> into the CC. And from that CC, it, we're up nearly 30 percent. Yeah. So uh, currently, oh, there we go. Just as we're making this video, we're also rising. So there you go, up 30% since hitting the CC. So it's just like, if you if you remove those emotions, if you just trade this chart for the technicals, what it is, uh, it doesn't matter what people say about it. It truly doesn't matter. Meme coins pump hard and, you know, there's money to be made. So who, who cares what this coin is, what the fundamentals are? I honestly don't care in the slightest. I originally bought it. Why? Because I have a Shiba in you. So it's like, <laughs> you know, I'm kind of, it was a casino, yeah, but I don't care about sticking some money in this because it's like money for me is just a number right now. And, um, you know, at the end of the day, it feels good. Yeah, it, it, this is what we're after. It's the, like the money and the numbers are so irrelevant. Honestly, I'm just going to hand on heart. I will definitely donate my money away that I've made on this because it's just like it's disgusting the amount of money. And you know, that's the thing. This is just numbers. It's, it, honestly, for me, this is all numbers. I don't care about the profits anymore. But what I love is the thrill of the game. It's the thrill of being in this. I just absolutely love it. Yeah. I love to say, look at me. I was right. <laughs> I love that, to be honest with you. And I absolutely just love to see a trade, like planning a trade and seeing it hit all so perfectly. That just gives me such a thrill. That just gives me such an excitement. Um, I don't know, it just feels really, really, really good. And I'm sure you can relate to that. I'm sure you can relate to that. It's it's just absolutely brilliant. You know, you put in some hard work, you plan a trade, you make the trade, and then to see it, see levels respected so perfectly, it just honestly feels really, really good. So the thrill of the hunt, as they say, it's better than the catch itself. Um, <laughs> so obviously coming out a little bit here again on, on Sheep to just give you a quick review. Obviously, it went through a quick bit, in my opinion, it went through a, an accumulation phase with then obviously your start of your run up, putting in a triangle and, the, the, you know, a standard target of this, if it's going to be looking for, you know, an impulsive wave to the upside is your one to one. Of course, this is this is still quite a run to the upside. This is still another 20 percent. Um, do I think you want to be, you know, I, again, I have to really stress, obviously, no financial advice. I'm, I'm not telling anybody what to do. There's just way too much risk. This is a really, really, really risky asset. Of course, you could lose all your money instantly like this. If you don't know what you're doing, if you're not careful, please take care. <laughs> you know, please take care. I have to remember I'm in this from a lot lower. Uh, I wouldn't buy sort of up here. You know, I'm waiting for retracements. I'm waiting for moves down. I would just never buy up at the all-time highs like this. So remember that, yeah, remember that. Um, but nevertheless, overall, I am still looking for higher. I know some people are trying to cause FUD and fear on Shiba coin, but I mean, at the end of the day, it's really well respected on the technicals. And, you know, for me, I, I am still looking for higher, at least to the one to one extension. If we can breach the one to one extension, we can get a real impulse underway and look for that one, six, one, eight, wave three, uh, before obviously get the retracement for four and up again for wave five. So in my opinion, it's looking nice. 
nothing really uh, bad about it at the moment. But obviously, I'm never going to buy up at the all-time highs. Would wait for retracements all the time. You know, CC literally has been very well respected. So that's uh, project number one that I wanted to talk to you about. Our love for Shiba Coin. All right, that is why we love Shiba. Shout out to Shiba. Buying it at one sat, 41 million percent profits. I mean, that's just unheard of. Pretty crazy, no? I want to move on to project number two, which is <laughs> which is not a meme coin. This is a, in my opinion, a serious project which is really, really, really good. I'm, 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 I'm uh, not going to lie, I'm pretty bullish on this one. Before it obviously got released, I've been aware of this, <laughs> insider trading not, but uh, obviously Bit Token. So this is Bybit's token. Uh, they've obviously airdropped quite a lot of, you know, people have been able to get this token for free. So I know people, I think Bybit gave everyone like $1,200 of Bit for free to everybody, like 600 tokens. Um and now it's obviously worth just over two dollars. So they basically gave everybody one thousand two hundred dollars for free from just trading on Bybit. So shout out to Bybit. I mean, I obviously this is this is why I love Bybit so much. Obviously, I know Bybit really well. I love Bybit, and it's not just because I have a relationship with them. It's because I honestly just truly believe this is this is the best exchange, best customer service, never goes offline. That now they're adding loads of altcoins. Uh, it's very liquid. I can fill whatever size position I want with little slippage. It's just for me, it's just like a perfect exchange, period. And against the competition, um, I just feel they're so far ahead and very underrated. I feel they have a really, really good future, as well as obviously knowing by a bit themselves personally. <clears throat> I don't know. I'm just really bullish on this coin, to be honest with you. Uh, but again, I am in this from a lot lower. Just remember that, yeah. But we look at we look at bit here and again quick accumulation quick accumulation this is the only thing that slightly is worries me somewhat yeah I, I would personally although i'm bullish and i'm invested i would like a bigger drop because you know i'd always like to buy it lower <laughs> might not get this opportunity though because i think this is quite bullish but nevertheless we've seen obviously our rise to the upside and then this is this is the underrated this is the under underrated tool on the underrated exchange the speed fan we bounced perfectly here off of the one zero six one eight speed fan yeah very underrated tool not many people use it um, <laughs> we'll wait and give to give it a few months more people will use it and we bounced perfectly off the speed fan okay we're coming back up and it actually looks very much similar to sheep if you look at Solana if you look at sheep if you look now a bit they, they, they're all like fractals they just these coins that pump really hard like follow each other really 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 similarly on the fractals but it looks very similar yeah pull back here to the 618 speed fan you're coming back up again towards the high so if, if the follow if this fractal follows it would do something along this lines again take this open your eyes to every single possibility or really you have to do this but the fractal would see a move above the highs take the highs and then obviously get another pullback to the downside you can see i've got an alert here set around two dollars i would love you know this is the thing I'm, I'm, I'm aware that this might not happen okay because i'm aware I, this, this for me this is quite bullish but if it pulled back up for me i you know i'm you know, I'm happy to buy dips. I'm happy to to load up on on sensible areas of retracement. So if we can come back to the seven five speed fan. You know, best case we could pull back obviously to the CC on this. If we can like pull back to these areas of value, I mean, I mean, we have to say the the bigger big, bigger support is around one dollars ninety. That's where you got your SR flips. That's where you're coming back into the volume levels. But it, it just seems like quite a drop, to be honest with you. But should it drop that much, I'm going to be very happy. Uh, but I do think it's kind of unlikely at the moment. Okay, at the moment, again, things can change. But these are levels where I'd be, I'd be very much interested. Let's just say that uh, to 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 basically load up more. So, I mean, this is where your big areas of support are. Yeah, this is your big areas of support. To come down here, we would obviously have to see something similar to what we've seen on Bitcoin, to what we've seen on some, a few of the other altcoins. Solana done it, you know. It did get heavy pullback. So it's not impossible. It just seems a little bit unlikely. But would it be after a move like this? Okay, a move back above the high and then a bigger retracement for the expanded flat. Is the expanded flat the most likely at the moment? I do not think so, but this is the best area of value. And you have to remember, as traders, we're always after good areas of value, yeah? Sometimes you wait for a really high probability trade and it doesn't come. That's like the, that's the, that's the downside of waiting for really good trades, that sometimes you miss the trade. And as a trader, you have to be very much accepting of it doesn't matter if I miss a trade because there's a hundred other altcoins to trade. There's always another trade opportunity. So, this is a, a thing you need to you need to weigh up 
Are you going to wait for lower and risk missing the trade? Do you want to get in at a worse area of value, but at least have exposure? Again, I'm not going to give anybody financial advice or even really that type of advice in this video. I'm not going to do that. I'm not a financial advisor. I'm just a trader that is now helping people on YouTube. <laughs> Funnily enough, that's kind of hilarious. But um, yeah, I mean, I'm personally... I mean, I'm personally in it, and I, and I do think this is a bullish coin. But the, the biggest opportunity would obviously be the expanded flat. Okay, that would be the biggest opportunity. Coming back down just below $2, coming back into your old value areas, coming back down towards the CC, it would be very, let's just say, it would be very nice if this is to occur. Okay, so just bear, you have to weigh up the pros and cons of waiting for lower versus, you know, getting, in, getting involved at higher prices. Obviously, there are trades to be had here at higher prices, but... No, I think it just requires a little bit of extra caution. Um, I mean, if if you're interested, I, I'll put this out. If you're interested in like a lower term time frame view of these coins, then just drop a comment down below. Let me know. And, you know, I'll be happy to do like a part two. I've obviously focused on quite a high time frame here. So if you want a lower term time frame, just let me know. And, you know, honestly, I'll be more than happy to do a part two. Um, obviously, I'll end with a few bits of news. Obviously, Bybit has now hundreds of altcoins added if you want to make use of 10% off all of your trading fees and a free $3,500 bonus I will leave the uh, affiliate link that I have down in the comments below in a pinned comment and you can sign up with our referral code to make use of the free $3,500 and 10% off all your trading fees I mean that seems like a very good deal to me um, you know basically everybody wins as well as if you want to, you know, if you want more in-depth analysis, if you want to learn how we're doing this, then of course, Chart Champions is the place to be right now. That's the place where you get heads up on 41 million percent gains to the upside. Uh, you know, a little bit of insights. 22nd of September, who remembered that date? Uh, we were, we were, yeah, I'm just going to move on. Um, yeah. Obviously, if you want to learn about that, chartchampions.com. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you, I really hope you've enjoyed this video. I have honestly enjoyed making it. If you have, smash that like button. Smash that like button as hard as you can. It's a nice way to say thank you. And um, yeah, I hope that I bring you a smile to your face. I hope you, I give you some energy about trading because, you know, I absolutely love this. Like I say, this is the thrill. This is, this is just my life. Truly, this is my life. I'm a, I'm a sad guy. Oh, I don't think it's sad, but I love what I do. And what can I say? Um, I hope that I can pass that passion onto you. If I have, that's a good day for me. And honestly, big smile. Thank you ever so much. Enjoy it. Just enjoy it. Enjoy, 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 enjoy. Learn at the same time and just think of the possibilities. Think about 5, 10, 15 years into the future, where you can be if you seriously dedicate yourself to this. Seriously learn, educate, empower. Sky is the limit. Truly sky is the limit. Lots of money to be made on this market. What can I say? Thank you ever so much. Have a good day. And that's me signing out. Cheers, everybody. Thank you. And I love you. Bye.